and welcome back to the third episode. Thank you for joining me. We've got our weavers workshop there, producing the clothing. And we've got these two extra buildings here. Starting the produ charcoal production in the kiln. And then when we've got enough, we can switch the worker over to the furnace to start making some, some iron for the blacksmith, some cast iron. And so we need to lay down our blacksmith and start thinking about what resources we need. Uh, this will be a big one, this one. And, and when, once we've got our blacksmith, we're going to have a lot of what we need for, for the very basic sort of building blocks of life in our village. So that's an exciting place to be. And we can start to think about other things then. Uh, looks like there's a bit of bumpy land here, so we'll build the blacksmith up there. And uh, let's check out what we need. 150 logs, we've got enough for that. Wow, 200 stone. 90 ore, got enough for that. Clay, 30 and 50 hay. So the main things we're going to need are the stone. We're 150 short and we're going to need, um, yeah, 50, 50 hay. But we are going to be... Uh, here we go, we're in spring. We'll hire a farmer for the grass, so we might not need the hay. Um, we might need it soon. Oh, and look, here's our house. Oh, wow. Look at that. We've built our second small house. Amazing. The, vill the village is growing very nicely. And we've got plenty of food, really. We can hire the gatherers again. So let's put um, a gatherer on from our labour market. And we can switch one of our hunters over to gathering as well. We've got two fishermen, and we need the two fishermen because we've only got 412 fish. We're really getting through the fish. Um, bit of a dilemma, really. Let's uh, let's start collecting some more stone anyway. We'll need to do that, and then we're going to have to have a look at our our professions. There's 16 there. Cool, we've really collected a lot of the stone locally. 35 there, 40 there. Um, we can need a bit more. 26 there, 18 there. A little bit more maybe. 18. Okay, we'll see what all that add up, adds up to. We'll collect a little bit of hay just in case. There's six there. Uh, nine there. We'll see how our how our harvest does and we can always collect more hay. Uh, we've got 17 in stock already, so maybe we're just collecting a bit from the previous time. Look at that village, beautiful. A couple of houses here now. Our new house, right next to our fishing hut. Oh, and look, the... Um, in the, in the fishing hut, you can see the fish right there. I know we've seen some um, bears poking around at that before now. A box of fish there and some fish hanging up there. That's where it's all being stored. Cool. Big storm. Looks like the storm's going to clear, is it? Get that feeling it's going to clear. There we go. Some animals coming into camp that we could, uh, we could knock back. And if we have a look at our clothing situation, that's fantastic. So we've got 13 clothes. And they've been turning all that flax and, and, the, and the hides. So that's been doing well. So what we'll do is we'll take our weaver off work for now. And also, just want to see how much charcoal we've got. So we, we've got 10 charcoal up in the corner there. We can keep making charcoal. Um, 15 charcoal, but we are a bit short on firewood. 78 firewood got one labourer and one builder so let's take the builder off and that gives us two labourers so we're starting to build up our work pool here a bit nicer to where I'd like it got a bear there in camp I wonder if we can slow down and kill the bear need someone to walk up this end of town here we go There's someone and the boar's there as well let's jump into you and um, get some of this meat just there for the taking really so we can dive in and get that the boar. Oh, missed the boar. Come on. There we go. Uh, any more animals around? Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a bear trying to go into that house. Okay, that'll do for now. We'll um, give you a number one hoot and get out of here. Press the number one when you're in a villager. It gives them a, a motivation. Increased motivation. Beautiful day. Oh, there's a farmer just there. We can jump into next to a bear. Missed him. We'll grab you and go after this bear. There it is. Sniff around, sniffing around our crops, that bear. 
Any other animals around? Oh, there's a bear there. Lots of bears around. We may need to invest in a, a hunter in town eventually. Just because the amount of animals that are, I don't know, attracted to the, to the location. Got a bear up there. And anyway, let's. Enough of hunting. So, what have we got at our blacksmith? We've got all the logs we need. Uh, we've got some ore being carried over, all the clay that we need. And we're still a bit short on the, um, the stone. That'll take um, quite some gathering, I think. So, we'll go on full speed. And we're slowly accumulating the charcoal. It, it occurs to me that that might need to be a permanent position, or certainly spend a lot of time on the charcoal. And we're getting quite short of the the fish as well. We're down to 355. So we might need to employ three fishermen before long. We've got three labourers, so we've gained another adult, and now with our increased um, capacity with the additional house, we're starting to do a bit better. So let's employ that th third fisherman, because I think we need them, and maintain the two labourers. And we um, certainly need those labourers to be bringing in all that material. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can follow... Ah, there we go. So they're carrying some iron ore to the building site, to our blacksmith. That's one of the labourers. Mm -hmm. The other labourer, I think, is also carrying resources as well. Yeah, just picking it up from that warehouse over there and bringing it back here. And once they've transported all of the iron ore that's needed, which, which they've done, they'll, they'll focus on other resources if we've got them, and then I'll ultimately go out and uh, and start start collecting the resources we've, we've, we've asked them to. And it's paying off, certainly paying off having the forester active because um, th the log supply is, is doing well. Pretty happy with the log supply. And it looks like our grass is probably not a million miles off. Yeah, look, 280 points out of 440. So that's growing really well and that's going to give us a whole load of hay. Um, which will take a real pressure off gathering resources because that's one of the, the slower things in this game. So you've always, always got to make sure you invest in some labourers and, and builders and make sure you don't don't have too many professions that need filling. Well, they've moved over all of the resources that we've got, the stone, the hay, and it's just those ones that we're short of that they'll be, be going out and getting. And just 305 fish, so people must really like fish. What's in the inventory in this house? Yeah, we've got firewood, we've got fish, and we've got vegetables. Cool, the bad weather comes in pretty quick. wonder if any villagers get caught out there. Incidentally, when there's bad weather, and you've got um, buildings that are higher up, they're more prone to be hit, being hit by lightning, and they can um, catch fire, which is pretty bad. And, and to put out the fire, you need to have the well. Um, so ultimately, it could be good to have a, a well up here. But we won't for now, because it's only a small settlement, and I haven't quite found out where the well is yet. <laughs> but it's not a huge ne necessity. Uh, what are they bringing there? They're bringing hay. So we're gathering hay. Oh, we've just got 43. Uh, so are we harvesting hay? Yeah, we are. Oh, fantastic. We're harvesting the hay, and we're harvesting a fair old amount. We've got 68 in stock now, and... Yeah, we're not, we're not even part way through, so we'll probably get, yeah, 300 and odd hay, which is going to be great for building. And what we can do is um, put up a, a different crop, maybe, I don't know, like potato. We haven't tried potato yet. Try potato for the next crop. Sometimes you can squeeze two in in a year. Sometimes not, really not sure how that works yet, or how much time you've got. There will there'll be certain crops that you can squeeze two in for a year and others not, but I don't know how you tell that something to be worked out. So it tells you, um, ah, this is normal growing potato, um, grass is normal growing, flax is fast growing, so you might be able to squeeze two of those in, and so, so is oats, so you could do like flax and, and oats maybe, and then on other years you could just do all the other stuff. Oh look, whoa, we've got a fire. Wow, look at that. The house is on fire, so I think that might have been struck by lightning. And look, the villagers seem to be taking water in. Yep, lots of water going in from the um, from the well. So we're lucky we've got that well, and it looks like they put out the fire. And um, also, it's good that that building was far enough away from any of the other buildings, so that it didn't it didn't spread the fire. So that's good. Don't don't put things too close together. I wonder if that needs any repair now. Doesn't seem to. Okay, great. 
So we're, we've got everything we need there now apart from the stone and we've just started adding stone. So we've got 65 there, did have like 47 or something. So that's brilliant. Okay, making good progress on, on the blacksmith's hut. Once the blacksmith's in place we're going to have all of the, the fundamental buildings we need. Um, and all the basic resources with um, to, to, to give us food, uh, to give us clothing, and to give us um, tools to make things moving forward. Oh wow, look, we've got over a thousand um, vegetables, um, so that's doing us well. Shows you just how uh, efficient gatherers are. Shame they can't work all year round. And we've got 410 meat, which is good as well. That's just that's just building. But the, the fish, um, that's a bit of a, a worrying situation because it's gone down to 214 and we do have three people on the case. So I'm not sure why that's that's so low. There'll be some sort of reason behind that, I'm sure. But we'll keep an eye on that because the, the, the right, there isn't really anyone like working at the moment. I wonder if there's something to do with tools. Maybe they've lost their, their fishing rod or something. They've just taken a load to storage. And there's someone fishing there. So maybe we're just uh, getting through through it a bit faster now. We've got a higher population. And we've got 13 adults. Uh, one teenager, three children. And so that's 17 people all together. We'll look to bear. Should we shoot the bear? Go into the farmer. Shoot the bear. Could almost always do with a bit more meat. Oh, and there's a moose up there. Go for that moose. There we go. Good shot. Any more animals? There's a fox over there. Got the fox. Yep. Uh, anything else close? There's a bear over there, but a bit, probably a bit far away. Okay. Okay. We'll ooh, we'll get that fox <laughs> just going into the house there, and uh, we'll give you a bit of, bit of motivation and uh, leave you to get on your way. So we've got the stone coming in fast and furiously. We've got 92, 100 stone now, 102. Uh, so the blacksmith will be starting to start in construction soon, and we need to really start thinking about what, what additional buildings we're going to need. And um, certainly something that is important for a lot of people to do very, very early on in the game is a school, and we're going to check that out because it will. Basically, the teenagers go through the school, and it, um, when they come out, they're more educated and, and therefore more more productive, more efficient, and um, they'll just produce more stuff and, and do. And, and they'll be a good investment. They'll do you well for your for your population. So let's have a look at school. Oh, here we go. Ooh, quite takes a lot of resources. We'll lay down the school and start thinking about how much needs to be done for that. Put it down there, right in the middle of the the two villages. Gonna need a lot of logs, a lot of stone, ore, a lot of clay, a lot of hay. Hmm. We'll well we've got, wow I've just looked at what we've got. We've got 461 clay, and actually we're planting potatoes now. We'll see if they'll they'll get a crop, but it's nearly full, so maybe not. Um, 461 hay. We don't have any more clay, and I don't know that you can just gather it. Um, there's no button to just collect hay. Um, sorry clay so we may need to to build a mine first so let's just pause the school whoa what is going on cool. huge downpour of rain and I've just noticed our fish is still going down 173 but we've got 500 meat and nearly 1200 and um, vegetables which is amazing I think we're going to have to build a clay mine which we've got here as well. There's an ore mine, stone quarry, uh, clay mine, and that just costs wood. So we've paused the construction of our school building because we we don't have enough clay. And wow! So if I build the clay mine here, um, it'll cost us 340 logs. And wow, 336 build points, um, but we can extract a total of 6,152 clay from the site. And it's a bit out of the way, so let's do that. We've laid down the clay mine, and that's going to be our, our next construction project after the blacksmith. And already we've got 138 stone, which is fantastic. So we'll, we'll start to um, build mines, and um, when we've got enough stuff for our school, yeah, it's just the clay. We've got enough hay. 
after the clay mine's built we'll have the clay. Um, we could manually collect the ore and the stone and the um, the logs, that's going to come in through our our forester, but we could do with manually clearing some as well. Here we go, the field's in danger of of the cold. Yeah, and I think we've lost our potatoes there, well, or maybe they'll be harvesting a few, who knows, nope, they've gone just then. So let's uh, get rid of our farmer there, because you, you, can't, you can't do anything more this season, and we'll, we'll save the potatoes for next year. Gatherer's hut, we've got that snowflake above, above the gatherer's hut, so we'll get rid of the, the gatherers. And there are a couple of uh, bears around that second camp. We could take take someone over. There we go. Take you over. We could certainly go for this bear. Oh yeah, there's loads of animals around here. Let's do this just to help with our meat. Because when the fish starts to get lower and lower, we'll, we'll potentially struggle for food. That one's a bit, a bit out of the way, that boar. Okay, we've got a couple of animals there. I'll uh, give you a bit of motivation. You can carry on your way. It's looking great, this second camp. Look. Come on, we'll get you. <laughs> Game speed was a bit fast. Uh, should we walk you out of camp and get the, uh, the bear that's just up here? Where's the bear gone? I think the bear's gone into one of the huts or something. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll look look for you again. Oh, there you are. Ha! Boom. Got ya. Okay, we'll leave you. Anyway, let's carry on. So, we've got enough firewood. 377 firewood, which is very encouraging. Oh, that is good. So we could take someone off firewood cutting. But I'm not sure we would. We've got five labourers, which is fantastic. Ooh, with five labourers we could really gather in resources, so let's do that. Let's go really go for stone. 37 there. Um, ooh, 11 there. We've taken a lot. 52 there. 90 there. Uh, 39 there. 36 there. That's a big stone haul coming in. And I've just seen our fish, it's down to 99. Um, even though we've got three fishermen. And, the, and they'll be working all year round. Now, Part, part of what's happening here is that um, once we build the school, we'll, we'll, we'll have people that are much more efficient. So once they get into um, fishing, they'll, they'll bring more fish in. And I'm just noticing actually as well with the charcoal, uh, our people are using the charcoal to burn, which is a, a lot more efficient. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that'll be helping with the firewood situation. So I'm, I think it's probably a good idea just to keep the, um, the kiln on full whack all the time. In fact, yeah, we can only have one worker on the kiln. It may even be worth having a couple of kilns in the future. Oh, and what's happening to the blacksmith? It's being built, I think. Oh, look at that. Yes, we've got all the materials we need. Um, so let's hire a couple of builders. We can really afford it now. And uh, it still leaves us with three labourers, which is fantastic. And we've got 76 stone that we're building up. Um, we, we will need more iron ore for our school. So that's 230 iron ore. Let's lay that down and have a look for them nearby. Oh wow, okay, so there's 236 iron ore there. Let's let's gather 202. Big area of iron ore there. Looking good. Building the blacksmiths. We've still got 12 clothes in stock, so we, we don't need to um, employ a weaver until that 12 uh, goes down. Um, the blacksmith, we've got everything in place um, that we need for the, for him, but we'll, we'll employ someone at the furnace so they can start using the, the charcoal because it looks like it's going straight into the houses as well. So we'll make sure that the uh, the furnace gets some. And we can afford someone in the, in the furnace because we've got a few more people now. We've got 13 adults, one teenager and three babies. Total capacity of 19, so um, two more. We have two more babies, so we'll need a house soon one. And we can put the, the, the extra house down here. And, and also we can upgrade houses. So if we upgrade this house, it will cost 150 logs, 50 stone, 60 ore, 20 clay, 30 hay. And that will get us an extra capacity, more happiness and so on. So that's worth thinking about. But a new house would give us way more. So I think we'll go for the new houses first and then think about um, 
you know, upgrading them at a later date. Oh, and this is the nicest weather, I think, where it's winter time. Oh, look at all the animals. Where it's winter time, but it's not snowing, and it's all nice and calm and relaxed. Great view of the camp. Okay, looking great. So we've got 152 stone, uh, 19 ore, and I'll just see how we're getting on for the clay mine. Yeah, so we've got 36 out of the 340 logs we'll need. That's going to need to build up a bit. We've got a couple of builders on, and they've... have they built the blacksmith's hut? Yeah, they've built the blacksmith. Brilliant. So we'll employ a blacksmith and we'll we'll get rid of one of... The, uh, we'll get rid of both both builders so they can just focus on on labour. And now we've we've actually got someone employed in, in all of the, build, the blacksmith buildings. Um, and so we've got a blacksmith. Get the angle right on this. We've got the blacksmith. We've got someone in the charcoal, the kiln, and someone on the furnace. And I'll just um, hover on the blacksmith. I'm going to zoom out a bit to find his box. Here we go. Uh, blacksmith, we're collecting logs. Well, that's a good angle. Here we go. Blacksmith, we're collecting logs, we're collecting ore, and also we're collecting cast iron, which is being made in the, in the, in the um, furnace. Oh great, and we just need one more charcoal to start producing cast iron in the furnace. This is very exciting, because um, we've only got three tools left, and we've just pretty much got our blacksmith up and running just in time, which is good news. There we go. So there we go, making charcoal in the kiln. Need to collect it in the furnace. It would be great if you could like prioritize. Oh, yes. So this is what you can do. So if you double click on charcoal, um, it's only going to be used in essential um, industries. It stops the people taking it. So I've 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 double clicked on charcoal there up in the menu on the left hand corner, and that stops um, stops people from taking it, and it means it will build up more for the for the furnace. So that that's something to learn. Oh, look, there's a bear just near you, my dear. Shall we see if we can take it out if it's still there? Oh, there it is. There's something over there. There we go. Get you. And there's, an, there's a bear down there. There's a few animals down there. I'll take you out. You're behind a tree. Don't know if we're successful with you. And there's something down there as well. Uh, but let's give you a bit of motivation for your charcoal making in the kiln and leave you alone. There we go, that's a nice view. We've got the weaver's workshop there, and we've got the kiln working away. And the furnace as well. Must take time to make the charcoal. Okay. So we've got the charcoal locked anyway, that'll build up over time. Oh, look, what's happening with the mine? Oh, brilliant. Okay, check this out. So uh, we've got 262 logs out of the 300, 340 that we need for the clay mine. So that's building up very nicely. Spring. Now we've got to find hmm, 14 fish. Okay, very low on the fish. We've got to find some people for the gatherers. Two people on the gatherers um, hut. We'll keep the fish. And yeah, we. I mean, we need to. Yeah, we'll employ a farmer. We. I mean, we're getting a bit short of people. We've got two tools left, so we could do with some more adults, and actually we could do with laying down another house. I'll put down another small house, because we need to really see if we can drive the population up. Um, where can this house go down? Yep, there. We'll leave a little gap in between that and the, and the house next to it. There we go. A couple of spaces. Yep, so fire can't spread. Um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've got 18 people all together and uh, 19 spaces. So that when that house comes to be built, that'll probably be good timing. A good view here for the, um, for the kiln. Looks like the furnace is active, is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we've got enough charcoal. Um, they're making cast iron in the furnace, and that'll go over to the, the blacksmith. 
Uh, yeah, we've got someone employed there. So maybe once we, we get enough tools, uh, we can switch the blacksmith over to the weaver. So we've got enough um, hides and flax. Should we hunt a bear? Oh, there's a wolf there. Let's do a little bit of hunting with you. I've just gone into the farm. Someone was doing some farming. There's a couple of bears nearby. Get you guys. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's give you a bit of motivation. Here you go. Leave you back to your job. Ooh. Slow down time and see if we can get this bear. Someone here. You'll do. Get your bow out. Where is your bow? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, we've got the bear. So uh, motivate you and get out. Speed up time again. So let's check out the uh, the mine. Have we got enough stuff here? 274 logs. We could do with um, manually breaking down some some trees now because we're a bit short on wood. But we've been doing some big big construction projects. So um, let's take it down around the villages. Now we've shown you in episode one how you just no manually select the trees, but this will help clear out the the village view as well and just a bit of an easier way to clear a bit of wood. Oh, the bad weather's kicking in. And we're doing it. We're surviving. You could even say we're thriving. Ah, and we're starting to make tools. We must be, because we've got four in stock now. Um, yeah, here we go. I think we are making the cast iron. It's going over to the blacksmith. Blacksmith making the tools straight away. We've got four. Fantastic. So the production run is being set up for tools and clothes, so that's a really good achievement. We've laid down a clay mine to help us build the school, and we're laying down another house, and also we've laid down the school, which we're going to try and build in the next episode, um, but there's an awful lot of re resources that are needed, so it might take a little while. And our secondary village over here is doing very well indeed. Looks like we're starting to get through the food. Uh, we've got 302 meat. Over a thousand veg and five fish, so might need to start thinking about another another fisherman's lodge. Maybe we'll have to really start to concentrate a bit more on food in the future. Um, but thank you very much for watching this, this episode. Uh, join me for the next episode where we're driving further and forward with this wonderful village. <laughs>